We also want to celebrate Friday with you and celebrate Longwood Gardens and Kennett Square. And if you've ever come out here to Longwood Gardens, maybe you've stopped along the way in Kennett Square at a shop or maybe two, but it's not just a place to shop and eat. It also has some incredible history. We wanted to share a little bit of that with you as well. Picturesque since day one. This historic place, known for what it grows, is about so much more. Kennett Square is a cute little town. It's walkable. Once you park your car, you're good to go. Kennett Square is known as the mushroom capital of the world. More than 65% of the mushrooms consumed in the United States are grown in Chester County. The Quakers, the Phillips family, and there are some Italian families. They passed it on through generations. Just minutes away, horticulture has gone wild in the stunning landscapes of Longwood Gardens. But long before the fountains at Longwood began entertaining guests, Quakers put down roots. Steve Warner owns the Kennett Square Inn, a restaurant and tavern built in 1835. It was called the Green Gate, and then it became the Green Gate Tea Room during Prohibition. After Prohibition, then it became the Green Gate Tavern again until we purchased it in 1976 and turned it into the Kennett Square Inn. Warner says the food and drinks are one reason to dine with them, but several of his patrons have run into otherworldly figures. We had a woman in the dining room that had felt that somebody was looking at her this whole time and then she turned to her husband left the room she turned back to where he was sitting and there was this little girl sitting there so that's when we realized it was a young girl and we named her Letitia. Historically, you could call them ghosts. During the Civil War, abolitionists in Kennett Square operated in the dark of night to free slaves. Lorraine Lucas says it's the part of her family history she's most proud of. Well, Eusebius and Sarah Bernard were significant in the Underground Railroad. Their farm in Pocopson was only six miles from the border. So fugitive slaves would be set up from uh, Thomas Garrett, typically in Wilmington, Delaware, and they would receive food, clothing, and rest at Sarah and Eusebius's house and maybe move on to the next station. They would communicate very secretively among themselves to indicate that, yes, we will accept escaping slaves when we can. At least a dozen homes in Kennett Square were part of the secret operation. A lot of them went from here to Philadelphia and then maybe further up north on to Canada. More than 200 years later, tourists can still take the Underground Railroad tour, discovering the homes that were once part of such a vital lifeline. Today, storefronts on State Street are still charming patrons, and the community is still thriving and growing every year. People have lived here for generations. It hasn't really moved a whole lot. If you've never been to Kent Square, you definitely come for Longwood Gardens, but you need to also hear about the Underground Railroad history.